Hi, it's me again, Julia. I hope you remember me. Today I am going to share my autumn needs with you. We've been having uh, quite cold days here. Autumn has come and it is quite rainy, it's quite windy, it's quite cold. So it's a real, real autumn already. But today, as you see, the sun is shining very brightly. It's a nice day outside. And I decided to take this opportunity to make a video for you. After knitting my boneyard shawl, which I showed you in the last uh, two or three videos, I realized that is it's a very autumny color. It's very fallen leaves um, mustardy color. I was feeling very bad when uh, when it was very hot here. So when the autumn came, I actually was happy, and my knitting obsession, my autumn knitting obsession. Uh, went on. I made and started making a lot of stuff. I am going to share some things with you. First of is a Frango sampler scarf by Stacy Perry. She is uh, very pink knits on YouTube and I think everywhere and she is one of the first YouTubers whose video I whose videos I watched I learned a lot of stuff uh, watching her videos. I enjoyed it a lot. I liked looking at her and listening to her. I got a lot of ideas from her. I got just, I don't know, support, some kind of support from her. So I like Stacy very much and I thank her all the time. So she has got a free pattern. It's called again Frango Sampler Scarf. Originally Stacy does it with uh, all different colors, but I made it with a large cake of yarn that changes its color. I started with one end of the yarn cake, this is it, and the second uh, stripe is the opposite end of the same yarn cake, and I went on so when the yarn started to change its color the stripes changed so you know, you see uh, it's the same color the same the same the same and then it it changes here's uh, a couple of rows of the same color then it changes you can see the change here the change of color here so you see uh, they add one lighter thread at a time and the color becomes lighter and lighter and lighter and in this case on the other side uh, it goes from brown to more grayish color i've been wanting to make such a scarf for quite a long time to make it from one yarn cake but uh, to make it gradient from the other, from the from different sides of uh, the thread, and when I saw this Frango sampler scarf, I put it together. I put my idea and this scarf together, and it worked out beautifully. I like it very much. It's quite cozy. The yarn is very soft. I think it has alpaca uh, in it. And I like that the colors are very contrast in one uh, in one part of the scarf and very close to each other. The hues are very close to each other in other parts. So at the same time, the scarf is um, is very pastel, is very uh, you know muted, but it's also quite contrasting. But even in contrast, they are not like black and white or green or red, uh, green and red, like very contrasting colors. They still work beautifully together, and it's knitted in a round. 
So the both sides are right in this calf. But you have to do uh, double work, right? Because uh, you are basically knitting two scarves. But I can't say it was hard. Once you catch this mood, once you understand how it's done or on a couple of stripes, you just go on and it's quite easy. I made it with uh, 40 centimeter needles uh, that I usually use for hats, for knitting hats. It's quite the same approach. You just uh, knit it in a round like a hat. Just do it much, much, much longer. And voila, it's a nice scarf. It's very warm. The yarn is alpaca and it's double. So you see, it's a, two layers of alpaca. So it's extremely warm. I think it is not very wide, but I think it can work uh, for autumn. It can work as a something like a shawl, you know, and if you make it wider, it will definitely be very warm, you know, for going on the beach in autumn. It's very nice. I'll say the name again. It's a Frango Sampler scarf by Stacy Perry. She is a very pink knits on YouTube and she has got a lot of uh, knitting videos, a lot of tips, a lot of uh, free patterns, a lot of free masterclasses. Totally recommend to visit her channel. All the other things that I'll show you today are whips, work in progress. So I saw this yarn I saw this yarn and the color is uh, is called autumn so it was meant to be when I saw it I wanted to make socks for myself immediately I am very in a autumny spooky seasony kind of mood right now and I do all the things that are cozy that you can use to snuggle near the fire that you can use to you know, go for a walk in the forest. I always consider how it will look if there are fallen leaves near me. So <laughs> this yarn was perfect. And I made myself, well, I made one, just one sock yet. The other one is just being started. I decided to not match the stripes. Uh, this sock is starting with a with a little bit of just one row of red and then it's it goes with dark dark blue it's not black it's kind of blue maybe a little grayish or black blue something like that and the second one starts with the orange the rusty color so it starts with somewhere here and it will go on and have have all these stripes also and I like how different it looks how similar it looks uh, with the yarn it is uh, again very autumny it is again very cozy and uh, it has some rustic vibe it looks a little like what the Weasley family would wear and I made it quite long so that I can wear it like um, a little like this. Because I like it. And I'm thinking about my Halloween costume. And I think I'll use them in the costume this Halloween. I didn't use any pattern. It's just as I always do socks. Uh, they are just a, a usual heel, a usual, I don't know, toe, a usual <laughs> cuff. Everything is very basic, uh, uh, very usual. I actually do um, the toe differently every time. This time it's, uh, I made it like a crown of the hat. I made decreases every, like four lines of decreases like this. So that's the socks, well, the sock and the cuff of the second sock. Another yarn that inspired me so much 
that I took it and started knitting immediately. I love Halloween, so now now I am kind of in a preparation for Halloween mood, and I look at things in the way if they can or cannot be used during the Halloween season. I'm obsessed with the spooky season. I don't know why. I haven't always been this way, but now it's kind of my obsession. So this is um, merino wool. I'll try to get the name for you. And it's very soft. It's like a kitten. And I decided to make a hat for myself. I just had one skein. I made a yarn cake with it from it. I chose a pattern. It's Bristle Cone by Fancy Amber. It's a free pattern on Ravelry and I like how it looks so far. It has these slip stitches and you see uh, if you slip it, uh, if you slip the orange stitch, it then goes above the blue uh, fabric and the opposite way around. If it's blue it can overlap the orange and it looks very beautiful. Unfortunately, I will have to unravel all this. Uh, that's not a lot, but I want to make it smaller. It's too big now. And I made a, a, a very beginner mistake. I, I twisted it. So it's, it was supposed to be like that. I twisted it and now it's it's not a, a hat, it can't be a hat, but it's a good thing that I tried it because uh, because I got this, now I'm going to get the size right and because I looked at it, I looked how it's going to look and I like it. I like that it's, a, it's hand dyed, that's why the colors are very unexpected sometimes. Sometimes there's a green where the dark blue and orange overlap. Sometimes it's this bright blue. It's very, very nice. See here? It's this bright, almost electric blue. Bright orange and very dark blue. Very beautiful. I'm hoping to finish the hat and the socks uh, before Halloween to to have time to wear it for some time in the spooky season. Let's go next. The final thing is actually for the day of Halloween. If you remember my last video, I told you that I started making a, a collar, a dickie for myself. Well, that is not going to happen because I used all yarn to make pumpkins, gourds, zucchinis, butterscotch, squashes, you name it. I made a lot and I used all the, all the yarn I had in colors starting with yellow, moving to orange, rusty, brown, a little of greenish brownish something everything that could be a pumpkin or a squash or i forgot how this is called i am actually already starting to decorate my home i've just literally started today so it's not very it's not overdressed but I am definitely going there. I am definitely going to overdress my home. I am, I am going to overdress myself. Everything around me will vomit with Halloween. I hope I say it every year and every year I mean it. I hope it will be the best and the spookiest and the most beautiful Halloween I've ever had. So this pattern, this masterclass is free on YouTube and the pattern, I think there is a pattern, a written pattern for that, 
because I remember reading something. I think there is. And it is not as difficult as it looks because they are just double crochets. They are just made with a, with a twist, with a little twist. And the bottom is just uh, single crochets in a round. And it's so squishy. The yarn is acrylic. It's very soft. It's very... Uh, it actually fits the, the pumpkins and the, the toys very well. And the tail I made with the yarn from my scarf. See? Same thing. I had a little left over and I, I made a couple of uh, small pumpkins from this yarn from the yarn from from my scarf and this tail of course all the patterns and all the all the all the information you need some yarns will be mentioned in the description of the video and i hope i inspired you to decorate your home for halloween to start thinking about your costume to start thinking about beautifying uh, your space and maybe even try to th to look at autumn not as the ending of summer of such fun but the beginning of something else in some way autumn is even more beautiful than summer it has colors it has cocoa and the little marshmallows i hope you are happy about this autumn thank you for watching me Thank you for commenting all these nice things uh, under my under my last videos. It was it is always so it always makes me so happy to read your comments and I see all these new people subscribing all the time. It's like a fairy tale. Thank you so much. It's very appreciated to know that what I do helps someone, inspires someone. Thanks a lot! If you have your patterns for Halloween, something you already did or something you are doing for this Halloween, let us know, let us all know in the comments because now is the time when people are looking for some nice things to make for Halloween, right? Thanks again and see you next time! Bye bye!